just to let you know what sort of a person Doug is. Or, well, this particular night we, I can't remember, we played somewhere in the city there, and uh, I think Doug had a few Johnny Walkers, too many, and this was at the time where there were booze buses, and they were actually a bus. And uh, they were old government transport buses that drove people around. Well, I only heard this story after what happened after the event. Well, Doug decides to drive home, and that's across the Harbour Bridge. And then on the other side there is waiting one of those, uh, at that time, booze buses. Anyway, Doug gets breathalyzed and he's over the limit. And typical Doug, he puts his hand up. Yes, yes, I know, I know. So they take him into the bus, um, charge him and that sort of thing there. And um, the normal routine that sort of goes through that, basically Doug had lost his driving licence for a little while. Anyway, when Doug told me the story, I was sort of a little bit, oh no. He said, you know what really pissed me off? I said, what? He said, they all wanted my autograph. He said, there was about four or five of them in there. Everyone wanted my autograph afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> when the White Album came out and that same time there a um, band in Melbourne called In Focus which Doug Parkinson Billy Green Duncan Maguire and Johnny Dick formed and they decided to do a cover version of Dear Prudence now one of the most interesting parts of that song is not the way that John Lennon had written it there is that interesting bass line that Paul McCartney plays, which is like a real sliding type of thing. Well, I'm in Doug Parkinson's band with Duncan Maguire next to me playing that. And every time, dear Prudence, we had to do that. I just loved every moment. And boy, it was it such a good song. And the way Doug sang it really just made dear Prudence like a showcase and it really featured very well in the Australian pop charts at that time there because no one had really heard unless you had the White Album the original Beatles version they sort of here in Australia were more familiar with the Doug Parkinson in focus version and it was lovely just to play you know be beside that and hear that song over and over again you Are So Beautiful, written by Leon Russell. And <clears throat> in those days, uh, we needed a sort of a, a good grand piano sound, which I had in the keyboard, but it only had 61 notes. But I needed some more down the bottom there, like another octave, which was pretty much impossible. And it threw me off all the time. And uh, Doug got a little bit very much cranky with me why am I now and um, he said right this is what we're going to do there was a piano at the, the back of this where we were playing an upright and he said right we're going there and you're going to play it to me and I'm going to sing it and we're going to rehearse it and we're going to get it right and I played it on the piano I had my left hand doing exactly what I wanted it to do and Doug looked at me and says, why can't you do that on stage? I said, look, I'm missing one octave. It's in the lower key. <laughs> and just, it, look, do you want to fly back to Sydney? Um, um, I'll pay for it. And he did. The problem was I was paranoid about aeroplanes. Absolutely. Especially when you get off the ground. And Doug puts me in the window seat. And uh, he's sort of sitting there quite amused by my disability of paranoidness. And um, as the plane left Canberra Airport, it, you know, it sort of like swings from one side to the other and I'm in the window seat absolutely just falling to pieces. While Doug's sitting next to me laughing his head off. He said, oh, what's your problem? I said, 
aeroplanes. 